What's up people? I'm finally back to reality. Back to the grind. And uh, back to the gym today. First time back. Did a few circuits. I did circuits the day after the competition and then on Monday. So I've had Tuesday, Wednesday off. But the circuits they didn't really count for anything. I've still got my tan as you can see. A few new gym shot things in the post. Get the discount codes. Um, just making lunch. I've got work at three, but I'm gonna go hit a back workout before then, so I'll show you that. Uh, crash my car. So no longer driving everywhere. I'm uh, taking a bus again. Um, so you'll see my bus journey. It's depressing as it will be. And that's pretty much it. Probably talk over what I'm gonna do for you in the future. Probably gonna talk over what I'll do in the future, but as of now, I'm just get a back workout started. Welcome to my new breakfast. It's the same as always. Eggs, oats, but now we've got three bacon medallions and two pieces of bread. Yeah! Come on, look, bacon and that is. Fuck that. Got some real bacon in this bitch. <laughs> See this shit? It's just like the meaty part of the bacon. So you just get that. None of the fat little tails on the end. Where's the fat at? Like, these are good if you're dieting. Is it bad if you're bulking? I'm not bulking yet though. But I will be. I'm gonna go back up to, I've had two, three days where I've just blasted it, eaten shit, brownies, cookies, everything, you name it, I've had it. And now I'm bloated, I'm coming back down to reality. So I'm going back down to maintenance, which is 2,800 calories. I'm gonna hit maintenance for around a week, maybe 10 days, depending how my weight goes. Uh, this is just to kind of replenish everything, get my body back in equilibrium after going from such an extreme low you know, cardio every day, low calories, to such an extreme high of just piling in loads of food. 15,000 calories plus in the last three days, plus. What has your weight fluctuation been? So I was like 83, 83 kg on stage. By Saturday night, I was about 87. Yeah, see guys, so if you don't see results in like, you know, a few days, that's your weight can fluctuate like so, so easy. Salt, water, the amount of food in your digestive so, system, all of that kind of stuff. Kind of <clears throat> that just shows what consistency does, yeah? So, 2,800 maintenance for the next week, 10 days, just to try and get some consistency back. And then from there, I'm going to start a proper bulk. I will add 100 calories, 200 calories on each week, and hopefully I can get my calories right back up high without kind of gaining too much fat. Maybe start a little strength program, but I don't want to go too low on the reps because I noticed that my body takes a beating when I do go too low on the reps. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much what I've got for, for the next, for the, for the foreseeable future is what I'm going to be doing, is just building those calories up without gaining too much weight. Perfect. Perfect. Thanks. Yo, I forgot to say, I've got some new kicks, courtesy of an anniversary present from my girlfriend. Check these fuckers out. Triple green, Roshi runs. Oh shit. To do the long, depressing walk to the bus stop. Gotta get the bus to, to work, well to the gym, and then I'm gonna work out, hit a quick back session, which you guys will see, and then I'll start work at three, until 9.30. So, that'll be my day. 
If there's anything interesting, I will show you. If she can get up behind me. Cool. See you in the gym. What's up, people? I'm back with another side by side. Today is back day. Started off with some rows because I have missed rows. Uh, grip shoulder width apart. Uh, I like to go about 45 degrees angle, possibly a bit more. Uh, anything more, you're just kind of working your upper back and rear delts, okay. traps, things like that. Um, so we started off to 60 kilo. I actually started off with the bar, moved on to 60 kilos, just really get the blood in there first. Uh, did 80 kilos, 90 kilos, and this is my top working set of 100 kilos. Um, really looking to build this strength over the next, you know, the next eight. 10 weeks, uh, really want to build the thickness in my lower back. Concentrate on pulling on my elbows here guys, this is why I wear the strap so I can just completely relax my arms, back in, chest out, and really just pull with my elbows, pulling in where that Christmas tree meets, where the lats meet in the middle of the back. Uh, then I like to strip the weight off, and I think these are called pedley rows, or some kind of row, I'm not really sure, but it's basically just as little, as parallel to the ground as you can get and pulling straight up with those elbows. Really just a great, great back movement. Uh, obviously you can't go as heavy, so you know, you're working a lot harder. Uh, I was absolutely dead on this last rep, so you can see that there. We moved on to lat pull downs. Just a simple wide grip lat pull down, and you'll notice here I retract my shoulder blades just there, there. <laughs> retract my shoulder blades in, and that's it. I do not fully extend and I try to come down as far as I can. Oh, I don't think I got as low as I probably should have done on these ones and I will assess that for next time. Um, but you want to keep that tension on the lats all the time. So full stretch up as more without fully extending your arms and, and pulling your, your shoulders at the sockets like this. So retracting shoulders at all times and just pulling down in one constant motion. It's nice and slow eccentric, fast concentric, you know how it goes. Uh, moved on to one arm rows, and I really wanted to exaggerate the stretch here because I've seen a lot of people do it. Ross Dickerson, to name one person, uh, really stretches down where the lat kind of really comes up here. This upper part of the lat stretches down. So I really wanted to give this a go because I actually haven't done one arm rows in months, literally months. I've just done it on machines, but I really wanted to use the dumbbells for once. Um, this is just 30 kilos. I moved up to 35 kilos, but this is all about getting you know the body ready to really have some high impact stuff come in because I've I've haven't really been smashing my body like I like I'm used to when I've got a big surplus of calories because I've been in that that negative calorie um, negative calorie that calorie deficit for such a long time. So really, just getting my body ready. This is like the warm up before the storm comes, and it is coming. Don't you worry about that, guys. Um, Moved on to a behind the neck lat pull down. This is an underrated uh, exercise in my opinion because a lot of people just hit the straight close grip pull downs, wide grip pull downs, wide wide grip pull downs, all these kind of different pull downs, but they don't hit that plane of motion which is just straight up, straight down. And it is, is a way that the lat works guys, so you've got to make sure that you hit that different plane of motion because Essentially a close grip like this and a wide grip like this it, it is all exactly the same motion But just slightly different kind of a slightly different angle But this is a completely different plane plane of motion instead of coming in front of you you're coming behind the neck Moved on to this is the last actually last exercise a super set of um, close grip rows I love this machine it literally I could just feel every part of my back working I don't even feel my biceps no forearms completely and utterly my lower back the middle of my back and my lats to be uh, more specific uh, This is a super set because I didn't have much time so I had to have a nice high high impact workout super set with wing flies aka rope pull downs um, you see me do these many, many times, full stretch up, again, arch back, chest up as high as you can, and you really want to pull with the lats, nothing to do with the triceps, nothing to do with like the, the hands or anything like that, it's just pulling as much as you can with the lats. That's it. Wow, I just finished that workout. Had a whole week of carbs. Feel amazing. Absolutely amazing. The pump is unbelievable. Oh, just high intensity. 30 seconds to 40 seconds rest because I only had an hour. Really worked. Lats are burning. My lower back is on fire because that's what I'm going to be gaining, guys. Lower back. 
and my lats. We'll go a bit more detail later. I've got to get showered, ready for work. I'll do a side by side of this or run through. Peace. I uh, hope you enjoyed the video guys. There'll be many many more videos coming. Just comment to see what you want to see. Don't forget to like. Don't forget to subscribe and see you in the next one. Peace.